Welcome to The Now, I'm Ashley Jenkins. I'm John Reisinger. <laughs> Blizzard may be, what was that? <laughs> well, I can't even continue, what was that? I don't know, I'm just trying to mix it up. <laughs> Consider it mixed. Uh, Blizzard may be riding high on the internet's love for Overwatch, but it seems not everyone is too happy with what the company's been up to lately. Uh, that's certainly one way to put it. Another way to put it is that everyone at Blizzard should die. Whoa! According to one insane that person who was... quickly. Is, yeah, I wasn't expecting that as I read. Uh, according, that's according to one insane person who was thankfully arrested for sending online death threats. Guess he really hated Sniper Mom being added to Overwatch. Jesus. Look, we get it. You have problems with your mom. <laughs> this news comes from a press release published last night by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of California, who announced that Steven Sebula, a 28-year-old gamer, was in indicted by a federal grand jury. Sebula was charged with making threats to injure Blizzard employees through online transmissions. We're not sure if that means emails, forum posts, or tweets, although at this point everyone's allowed to send death threats via Twitter without being punished for some reason. It doesn't really count as online. Really? No. That's horrible. <laughs> but people do it all the time. I haven't gotten any yet. The court documents associated with the case state that between July 2nd, 2016 and July 3rd, 2016, Sebula transmitted messages over the internet to Blizzard Entertainment in which he stated that he may or may not pay Blizzard a visit with an AK-47 amongst some other fun tools. Bro, bro, no. Are you sure you are no. you sure you sad that you have No, I'm just saying I haven't gotten some. any yet. I wasn't saying I want some. I'm just saying like that's not cool, bro. Like, dude, don't. Don't worry, now you will. Oh, I'm so glad I'm on the know. The documents go on to say that Sebula also ind indicated he might be inclined to cause a disturbance at Blizzard's headquarters in California with an AK-47 and a few other opportunistic tools. Now he just sounds like a broken record and a tool. Whether or not his comments were jokes or serious threats, it's probably a good idea not to say something like that to anybody ever. I mean, aside from the fact that it's fucked up, it's just poor manners. <laughs> However, Blizzard must have had other evidence or reason to believe that these were more than just idle comments, seeing as how they led to an arrest, which uh, you don't get from most online comments. Yeah, he did something bad. Uh, and even if they did it, Great, stop threatening to kill people, you fucking jerks. Uh, from the sound of it, the FBI, FBI got involved with this one, so there probably was something a little more substantial going on here. Sebula was arrested less than two weeks after his threats on July 12th, and his arraignment is scheduled on July 26th. That's when his charges will be read to him, and he'll make a plea of guilty or not guilty. The, it was just a prank, bro. Defense probably won't go over so well in that setting. If found guilty, the penalty he's facing is up to five years in prison and a $250,000 fine, which is like waiting for one Blizzard game to finish and buying 312,500 loot boxes in Overwatch or 1,071,428 Hearthstone cards. I got that all. <laughs> that's, a lot, that's a lot of Hearthstone cards. There's no telling what could have prompted these threats or what they were in regard to. Considering Blizzard's multiple franchises, this could have been about just about anything. Around the same time frame, Blizzard had just introduced competitive play into Overwatch, which did come with some mixed reactions, although that's a little bit more than mixed. Yeah, seriously, they, they balanced Zenyatta, they gave D.Va a better, you know, grid uh, defense. Calm down. Any of these are worthy of death, right? <laughs> that was also the same time that Blizzard began posting about looking for a director for a new Diablo-related project, which many suspect might be Diablo 4. Yeah, the idea of a new Diablo game I guess could be a little upsetting to certain portions of the community since there hasn't been any new expansions since Reaper of Souls and no other content updates have been announced, but and like I'm looking forward to Diablo 4, <laughs> man, so don't you be getting up anybody's business and getting my Diablos taken away. You got it? <laughs> or he just hated the Warcraft movie that much or he hates the font in their logo, or he's just a crazy person that we shouldn't spend too long trying to figure out why he said a crazy thing. I vote for number C. Number C. Yep. After all, we've seen people make death threats to game developers over really ridiculous stuff before. Uh, just a couple months back, for instance, Sean Murray of Hello Games posted on Twitter about the pile of death threats he received after announcing that No Man's Sky was getting delayed by two whole months. Now, are you guys now threatening the Netherlands? Right? You are, right? Ah, two months. The humanity. It's worth death. <laughs> Murray's tweet about the threats said, I have received loads of death threats this week, but don't worry, Hello Games now looks like the house from home alone. So he took it in stride. 
Does that mean you put traps up and stuff? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird reference. He's got that tape going. He's gonna be like, oh, I fill the animals. Just tying paint buckets to ropes around the office? Makes I sense. I mean, really, that's just what you do for fun around the office. It happens to be security measures as well. Uh, considering Hello Games might be in some more patent trouble over No Man's Sky procedural generation formula, that two months might start looking like a cakewalk. Don't say that. That No, please no. no. Can you imagine the kind of response I'll get if the game gets delayed again? But if we say that it's someone else's fault, then we threaten... Actually, let's threaten Just nobody. Just threaten. No threat. No threat. It's fucked up. Fortunately, Murray had a sense of humor about the whole thing. Really happy about that. But the threats indirectly spread to the writer of the Kotaku piece, who first broke the story uh, that the game could get delayed in the first place. Because, yeah, shoot the messenger. That seems reasonable. It's all good times. Uh, because video games! While we've regrettably seen few arrests when things like this happen in the past, the whole death threat thing is nothing new for game developers. Following Oculus's $2 billion acquisition by Facebook, Palmer Lucky took to Reddit to talk about how families of Oculus employees had gotten death threats and harassing phone calls. Jesus. And back in 2012, Ninja Theory received death threats over the direction they were taking DMC, Devil May Cry, back when Capcom first announced they'd outsource the series. Were you sure they weren't death threats over calling it DMC, Devil May Cry? Because isn't that like ATM machine? DMC, DMC. Some of those included fan-made death threat comic books and even death metal tunes. That same year, Mojang shut down a site that was handing out Minecraft for free, which resulted in Notch getting similarly threatened by various people on the internet. Robert Bowling, who used to be the public face of the Call of Duty series, recounted back in 2012, Damn, that was a bad year for developers. Lots 2012. Of death threats. Good, I good, good times for everybody. Good, good times. About how often he'd received death threats over the slightest updates or announcements to changes in the Modern Warfare series. Yeah, according to him, most of the threats that developers see are from kids trying to one up each other online, which is why these things generally don't end up with any major charges. They're not credible. For him, taking those death threats on a daily basis is just part of the job of a game developer, which is really fucked up. Cool. Super I'm, fucked I just up. I don't like this. Uh, which is a shame because this is supposed to be a hobby that's all about having fun. Fortunately for everyone at Blizzard, they caught this person before anything more serious happened than a few shit posts online. Yeah, we're not gonna ask what you think about Blizzard's death threats because you, if you're a reasonable person, which you are, of course, you think it's as fucked up as we do. So let's just talk about how Blizzard is great and how we want Diablo 4 in the comments. More Overwatch characters. <laughs> for future updates on the wackos in the video game world, like this video and subscribe to the No. You they know, balanced I'm, it. They balanced it. No one knows that's over Overwatch. It's good. It's you know, good right now. I would consider us wackos in the online world too. But like we're we're crazy hot. I'm just right? totally Not, normal like, and we're insane. We're like the good kind of crazy. The crazy that like you're happy to put up with. Yeah. Right. 